Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a stone in each ureter. You can see the right kidney and it shows moderate to severe hydronephrosis. And you will see a stone in the ureter. It is generally thought that only smaller stones can be impacted in the ureter but in this case you can see a large stone of about 12 to 12.5 mm in the right ureter and a smaller stone of about 7.5 mm in the left ureter. You can see there is moderate to severe hydronephrosis with the hydroureter in the right side. And now you are going to see the tracing of the right ureter. Tracing of the right ureter, the ureters requires a bit of practice. And as there are blood vessels also seen alongside the ureter, you can see the ureter and a stone is impacted. This is the right ureter and a large stone is seen in the proximal portion of the right ureter. So you can see the stone shadowing. You can differentiate the blood vessels from the ureter by Doppler study. This is the right ureter. And you can trace the ureter once you put the transducer on the ureter. Then keep on tracing it downwards and do not let the ureter out of sight, out of the reach of your transducer. You can see the, the stone measuring about 12.6 millimeter. Now you are going to see the left kidney and left kidney shows mild to moderate hydronephrosis with mild hydroureter. And you will see this stone lies in the distal portion of the ureter near the ureterovesical junction. Now in this case you will see the tracing of the whole length of the ureter. This is the ureter, left ureter. And once you put the transducer on it, you do not let the ureter get out of sight. You can see the tracing. This is the left ureter. This is the proximal portion of the left ureter. And you can see if you have difficulty, you can use the Doppler flow to differentiate it from the blood vessel. This is the right ureter and cardinal to the left ureter and cardinal to this ureter. You can see the iliac vessels. Now the ureter is going to cross the iliac vessels. Now this is this is the left ureter and blood vessels are also passing alongside the ureter. Now you have to put the probe, press it inferiorly and do not 
let the ureter get out of out of sight again this is left ureter middle portion of the left ureter and now you are going to to see the distal portion of the left ureter and you can see a stone near the ureter of ureter junction this is the left ureter and this is urinary bladder this is the ureter it is preferable that urinary bladder should be filled to its maximum this will help to the tracing of the ureter but once once you get more and more practice you can trace the ureter even if the urinary bladder is not completely filled as in this case you can see there is small amount of urine in the urinary bladder and you have seen the tracing of the ureter quite easily quite easily done the stone shadowing now again you are going to see the summarizing all these in one picture you can see this is the right ureter right, right kidney and it shows moderate to severe hydronephrosis now you will see the stone in the right ureter now you can see the stone shadowing in the proximal por portion of the right ureter larger is the size of the stone easier it is to trace the stone in the ureter now you can see the left kidney this is left kidney and now you will see the tracing of the stone in the left ureter again you can see the left ureter and a stone is seen in the distal portion of the left ureter close to the ureter of zygal junction now you will see the labeling of this picture you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks